Hey everyone, it's Pippin Williamson. Um, I just want to give you a quick rundown of easy digital downloads for everybody who's beta testing the plugin. This is just going to be a quick introduction to it. Uh, what easy digital downloads is, is a plugin that allows you to sell digital downloads through your WordPress wor uh, website. Very similar to the way that a lot of the e-commerce plugins work. However, it is specifically geared towards digital downloads. And because of this, it's actually managed to avoid a lot of the feature bloat that e-commerce plugins run into a lot of the times because they're trying to offer every single feature underneath the sun. Uh, so e easy digital downloads is for digital downloads and digital downloads only. Um, it's a very simple plugin to use, and let me just kind of take you through it real quickly. First of all, we have our downloads post type right here. It's very similar to any other WordPress custom post type. Uh, you have an overview where you see your digital download name, the categories it's in, the tags, the number of sales it's had, and the total earnings, uh, the revenue that this download has accumulated. You also have a short code that you can use to display this download on any post page, custom post type, anywhere on your site, which will allow you to show a purchase button for that download. Um, when we are editing the download, first of all, we have our download stats up here at the top right, our sales and our earnings. Tags and categories, very similar to anything else that you'll see. Uh, and then we have a little bit of a download configuration. And this allows us to set our price, add our digital files that we want to be able to allow people to download for this. You enter a name and then the file URL. You can add as many files as you want. Uh, we also have the option to automatically show a purchase link on this page. So when we're viewing this digital download, for example, like let's view this one right now, we have this purchase, purchase button down here at the bottom that we can simply click on and it adds it to our shopping cart, which you can see over here on the right. So you can either enable or disable that option. If you disable it, you can simply use the short code that's displayed right here to, dis to add it wherever you want, or you can use template tags. The plugin is very developer friendly, has a ton of template tags that you can use, actions, filters, etc. Uh, you can also customize the button just a little bit, the text, choose whether displayed as a button or text, and then also choose your button style for the predefined styles that come with it. Obviously, it's designed for developers, so it's really easy to customize these as well. Uh, we have payments history. So this is our complete payment history. We can see the person who purchased it, their purchase key, the price, the date, uh, the status of this order, etc. We can view both live and test mode payments. We can resend our purchase receipt. We can view our order details, and so this is going to list all of the, the items that they purchased. We can see the discount they used, if they used any. Uh, we also have a complete discount code system. You can do flat rate or percentage-based discounts, maximum number of usage, expiration dates, etc. Uh, all very simple and easy to use. We have a reporting page, which is just three graphs, the download performance and sales, so the number of downloads each or purchases each download has, the, number of, the amount of revenue that each download has generated, and then also the number of earnings or the, the revenue per month for the current year. We also have a simple settings page where we can put the plugin into test mode. We can define our shopping cart page, our success page, our currency, a, little, a few other details about the currency, um, our payment gateways. By default, the plugin comes with PayPal and a manual payment. As add-on gateways, we have PayPal Pro, PayPal Express, and Stripe, which will be available to everybody um, soon after official release. Uh, you have your settings for each individual gateway down below. You can configure the email that gets sent out, the purchase receipt. Uh, you also have, uh, it's a fully HTML enabled email, so you can put anything in here you want. It can be images, HTML, you can style it however you want. You have some email template tags down here. We also have a little bit of miscellaneous. Uh, you can enable or disable Ajax on the plugin. So if you disable Ajax, nothing is going to be Ajax whatsoever. But if you enable it, adding to the cart, transitioning through the checkout, it's all going to be Ajaxed. You can restrict purchases to logged in users only, and you can choose to show a registration form on the checkout page. On the front end of the site, once we add a plugin uh, or a download to our shopping cart, it's going to look like this. Let's go ahead and add another download really quickly. Go to Simple Notices Pro. Click here to purchase again. It shows that I've already purchased it, but I'm going to purchase it again. We can see there it is. I can remove it if I want. I can go to my checkout, choose my payment method. I'm going to choose manual payment for now. Click next. It's Ajax. I can apply a discount if I want, but I didn't enter one. Now I can click purchase. It's successful. Uh, and there's the, the success. So there it is. Um, that's the plugin. It's pretty simple. Oh, there's one other thing is you have your available downloads. You can purchase at any time or re-download. So here I can go download this one and there it is. So let me know your thoughts and thanks for beta testing.